Welcome everyone, I'm Jordan Sharp. As we head into another night of NBA action, it is time for me to release my player props courtesy of Bovada Sportsbook tonight. Rather successful in game number one, however, things have changed dramatically in game number two with the Kyrie Irving injury. And uh, as we start to look at the uh, Bovada player props, we'll start it off with none other than the king himself, LeBron James, who comes in with an over-under for points tonight at 30 and a half. Now, without Kyrie Irving, the King's going to have to take on more of the scoring load, even more than he did in game number one. He took 38 shots for 44 points in game number one, and you can expect the volume to be there once again. However, Bovada only has his player prop uh, for, for points here at 30 and a half. And at minus 125 for the over, I think it's absolutely worth a stab here for a solid base for our player prop picks here tonight. Without Irving, like I said, LeBron is going to be turned into a scorer. Steve Kerr has already said that they need to turn LeBron into a scorer more. I think that's exactly what's going to happen here. If he gets over 35 shots, I think there's easily going to um, make at least 31 points in this game. And at minus 125, Bovada putting chalk at a very, very reasonable price here tonight. So add the over here to your NBA picks. Next one I have for you is the fill-in for Kyrie Irving, Matthew Dellavedova, who comes in with an over-under for points tonight at 10.5. Now, in games that he's played at least 34 minutes this postseason, filling in for Kyrie Irving, he's had four of them, averaging 14 points per game in all of those. And even though he's not shooting that much in the, or even though he's not shooting that well percentage-wise in those games, he is shooting a lot volume-wise. Looking back on LeBron, if he shoots a lot, he should be able to get over his point total tonight. They're going to need Matthew Dellavedova to be in attack mode, both from the three-point line and into the paint here for the Cavs to have any sort of chance to beat the Warriors here in game number two on the road. Ten and a half points may just be a bit too low, and the over, in fact, is at minus 115. So even though he's only shooting about 40% in those games where he filled in for Kyrie Irving, I think he still has a very good shot at knocking down a few threes tonight, maybe getting a fast break layup, and a couple of free throws will easily get him to 11 or more points here tonight. So add the over on that one. Finally, I have Draymond Green coming in with an over-under for rebounds tonight at 10 even. Now, he was definitely out-rebounded big time by Tristan Thompson, the guy he's been trying to box out and defend. Thompson had a huge game on the boards, and I really expect that to happen again because Steve Kerr doesn't seem interested in putting Draymond Green on LeBron James. Andre Iguodala did just as good, as good a job as Draymond probably could have done. He's also a lot quicker, so he can stay in front of LeBron at least a little bit. Still strong as well, even though the 31-year-old from Springfield, Math, uh, Springfield, Illinois, excuse me, has lost a few steps in the past couple of years. Iggy did a fantastic job, which means Draymond is going to have to go up against a bigger and just as athletic Tristan Thompson. That doesn't mean he's going to be uh, having too many rebounds in this game. I don't think either. He had six in game number one. I really don't. I th think ten is probably still a bit too ambitious for Draymond here when he's trying to be uh, when he's trying to box out a bigger player. He's normally better on the rebounding when he's playing a smaller guy like a Paul Millsap or something like that. So I think under here at minus 105 is actually the play we need to look at here for Draymond's rebounding total. But that'll do it for your player props. Make sure you check out my team prop picks from Bovada as well. Got a ton of value over there on those. But until next time, I'm Jordan Sharp, and this has been another edition of the Sharp Pick.